you know, for me, playing playing on the team and being a part of that, it, it motivated me a lot, you know, and, and I'm so glad to have experienced it and, you know, to, to make history, uh, first Asian American to, to be an NBA champion. And, uh, and so I'm like, dude, this is once in a lifetime stuff. The last time we saw Jeremy Lin on an NBA court, he was collecting his championship ring for the Toronto Raptors. He was ridiculed because he didn't play any minutes, but I mean, that was the best team in the league on an eight-man rotation. Guys like Norman Powell played 60 minutes that whole series in the finals. Norman Powell, who's now a 15-point-per-game scorer and averaged over 30 minutes a game this year, only played 10 minutes a game during that series, and it was an eight-man rotation with most of their guys playing up to 30 minutes a game. But people still like to poke fun at Lin because, I don't know, he was a meme back in the day when he was Lin Sanity and now he got a ring without playing any game time, which, I mean, yeah, he didn't play any game time. But you could say that about half a dozen other Raptors players on that roster. But you, and you could say that about half a dozen players every single year that get a ring. Now, quickly, before I go any further, if you could drop a like on the video right now, that would be greatly appreciated. It really helps out the content a lot and subbing to the channel also helps out a lot. I'm trying to hit... I don't know, maybe 20k at some point in time. I don't know when, but that would be cool. So if you could subscribe to the channel right now, that would also be greatly appreciated. I make content like this like six to seven days a week, and it really helps out a lot. So thanks. Anyways, let's get back into it. But moving on from his time as a Raptor, where he didn't really have the best of times. Sure, he won a championship ring, which is what everyone wants, but he knows he didn't play his best basketball, and ultimately that led to him being out of the league this year. But before then, he was actually playing pretty well as a backup for the Hawks to Trey Young. He was averaging over 10 points per game on pretty good efficiency. He wasn't shooting the three ball amazingly. He was shooting it all right. He was getting to the rim pretty well, and he was just playing pretty well, averaging over 10 points a game on just under 20 minutes a game. And Trey Young credits a lot of his early success to Jeremy Lin as a vet, helping him out in the league. But he might have done too good of a job because after Trey turned into the star he was in the second half of the season, the need for Lin was not quite the same as it was before, and they shipped it, and they waived him, and then he found himself on the Raptors, where yeah, he struggled, he never really found his groove, but you have to understand, this was him coming in halfway through the season onto a championship level roster, with a very set rotation and a very set way of playing, different to Atlanta, obviously, and then he had to come in and try to make an impact, and he just never really got going, but you can see how that would have happened, given the circumstances, given the situation. But this was a one-off. Every season since 2011, Lin has averaged over 10 points a game. That's been on different teams, different systems. He's found a way to put up good numbers on decent efficiency, and he's a pretty solid playmaker as well. He gets the job done. He's not a fantastic shooter. He's just good at getting to the rim. He's a good locker room presence. He's good at finishing. He's good at passing. He's just a pretty well all-rounded offensive player, and that led to him being in the league for over 10 years and providing an impact on multiple different teams. And this history in the league has led to a team like Golden State, who once had him on the Warriors, having interest in him heading into the 2021 season, because now they've lost guys like Livingston, they've lost guys like Iguodala that used to fill up the bench and used to play significant minutes with their veteran presence and steady hands. Now they have to find a new replacement. And I think Lin would be a great replacement. I mean, you can look at other players that have come in after being thought of as washed. Guys like Rondo, Dwight Howard, obviously they're Hall of Fame players, but they're still kind of in the same categories in they were seen as washed. They went to a championship contender and made a huge impact. And I think Lin could provide that same kind of role. Maybe not as great as a Rondo, but he could still provide that scoring, a bit of playmaking, and that added boost off the bench that the Warriors desperately need. At the moment, they don't have that backup point guard that every championship team needs. But it has been a year out since he was last in the league, so what has he been doing? He's been in the CBA playing basketball, and it's a pretty competitive league. You've got a lot of ex-NBA players. You've got a lot of players that are still hoping to make the league, and it's competitive enough that I could suggest he's getting enough good reps that he could come back to the NBA. He wouldn't be completely out of sync with what the NBA level is like. You've got players like Carmelo Anthony, J.R. Smith, they were just working out, and then they came in and got a roster spot, and guys like Melo obviously made a big impact. JR, not quite the same, but I mean, he came in late in the season and was playing on a stacked roster, so it's hard to say if he could have done better for a lesser team, but you've got guys that have been working out, not playing professional basketball, and they came in and could still impact a team. So I think Lin could come in and provide an impact, and in China, he was playing well. He was the top scorer on the team, averaging 22 points a game, just under six assists a game, shooting pretty well from the field, and shooting pretty solid from three on nearly four attempts a game, which is crucial. That's the big thing about Jeremy Lin. He's never been a great three-point shooter, and that's held him back a bit. A lot of bench players who aren't great defenders like Lou Will, those kind of guys shoot the ball really well, 
and that's probably been his major drawback that's kept him out of the league the last year. But shooting the ball at around 34% from three on around four attempts a game, that's solid enough. It reminds me of the Lakers guys like Alex Caruso, Rondo. They come off the bench. They're not great shooters, but if you leave them open, they can hit it, and that's really all you want from Lynn. He's likely going to be in a lineup with Clay Thompson, with Eric Pascal, with Jordan Paul, with Kevon Looney coming off the bench. Clay Thompson or Seth Curry, one of those guys normally splits minutes. So it'll be one of those two playing with Lynn. And that just provides a bit extra shooting, a bit less responsibility on him to create for others as much, and a bit less responsibility on him to make all of his three-point shots, which he's just obviously not going to do. Now, keep in mind another thing about this Warriors team and Jeremy Lynn is he had a good relationship with Steph and the Warriors from when he was there on his first stint. And that could go a long way to getting him a spot on the roster and making it work for him if he does get that roster spot because that connection, that chemistry can't just be built overnight. And it's obviously going to take a while to get that chemistry back to where it was. But there's something there and there's enough to suggest Steph might vouch for him as a free agent as someone that can come off the bench and provide that spark plug role that he's done throughout most of his career. Look, is Jeremy Lin the answer to all of the Warriors' problems? No, he's not the answer to all of the Warriors' problems, but he doesn't need to be. The Warriors need some bench help, and particularly at the point guard spot. And you've got someone that averaged over 10 points per game every year since 2011. He was balling out in China, averaging over 22 points per game. He's still got a few more years left in him at a pretty good level, and I could expect that level to be pretty solid coming off the bench for the Warriors. What is there to lose? You either bring him in, he averages the 10 or so points a game that he's done every stop of his career by bar Toronto, or you bring him in and he flops and you just wave him. He's probably going to be on the vet minimum and you bring him in, he could be great. He could be just what you need coming off the bench, replace that Livingston type role who wasn't a great shooter, keep that in mind either. He wasn't a shooter at all. Lynn will at least provide some spacing and he could come in and he could be a great acquisition. It's a pretty solid reward for very low risk. It's a low risk, medium reward. I'm not going to say it's a high reward. It's not like you're bringing in Clay Thompson, but you're bringing in a solid player that could provide a good impact. And that's what makes the difference for championship teams. It's what made the difference for the Lakers and it's what could make the difference for the Warriors. There's also the chance that Lin signs for a team like the Nets. They've been rumored to be interested because they want some Chinese representation. They've got a Chinese owner. I think that's kind of disrespectful to suggest Lin would just be a token kind of guy as a marketable person to the Chinese population. But I mean, in terms of if a team was on the fence about signing him, maybe that improves his chances because he does have such a big population, a big audience watching him. But I think that's kind of disrespect for someone that's been a very serviceable NBA player every stop of his career. And I could see him still being that serviceable player heading into the next season if he got signed by a team. If you did enjoy the video, a like would be greatly appreciated. If you made it to the end of the video and you haven't subbed, maybe consider doing that. That would also be greatly appreciated. Other than that, I'll catch you next time. Bye.